black, orange, and the smoke was so thick you felt if you were to breathe it in, you were going to suffocate. And that frightened me so much in my life that now I don't even think about the properties. It is devastating. But my main thing is I just want to be alive and for all of us to be safe. We have had uh, an incredible sense of community. If it wasn't for these guys that have had bushfire experience, this house would not be here. We would have lost the light. Um, guys that know the bush, guys that know fire, uh, helped save at least, I would say, 10 to 12 homes along the street. And the guys that are helping have saved countless more. We are so grateful for their help. Um, and it was burning quite significantly, so we lost the leave every major the 80k wind from this side and rip through there and all this black soot dust but he blocking me masks and they're all sucking in and going <laughs> it's had sprinklers going everywhere and that's what saved it having plenty of water and sprinklers going everywhere and just hosing everything as i'm saying you know the fires would just you turn around there's another fire, there's another fire, little swap fires everywhere. In front of the property, um, our first task was to extinguish that uh, to help prevent uh, fire spread onto the property. And we've made sure that the property is uh, safe for the fire front passes.